Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to sign in with Google. So if you haven't watched that video, then just go to the description there I put the link from my previous video or you can simply do one thing, just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to design and how to add the view pager in your WhatsApp app. This is a complete app which I have opened right now. So when I click on this, it will log in with me Google to my app in the main activity. And here you can see this, we have this chats status and call when i click on chat chat activity is open by default and when i click on status it will open a status fragment when i click on call it will open call fragment so here you can see this we have designed a view pager and inside these i have connected three fragments okay so i'm going to show you how to design this stuff in this video so i'm going to close this for now and move back to the app on which we are working that is bd chat so if i open it and here we have only welcome page on the activity underscore main. So we are going to add the view page into this one. So let me minimize this first. And before we add something, I'm going to create two folders over here, two package. So click on this and select package. And I'm going to add one package with the name fragment. Hit enter. And another package is for adapters. So click on this and click on package and I'm going to name this one adapter. Hit enter. After this, I'm going to add three fragments into this one. One is for call, one is for status and another is for chats. So I'm going to click on this, go to select fragment and select blank fragment. So click on this and I'm going to change the name for this one that is chats and click on finish. This will add a chats fragment. Just close this. We don't need to do anything into this one. Another is click on new, select fragment and again select blank. After this, I'm going to add a calls fragment and one more. Just click on this fragment and select this fragment. And here I'm going to add one status fragment. Click on finish. This will add three fragments. Okay, now I'm going to close all because I'm not going to code on these stuff. Okay, now our fragments is ready. I will create the adapter later before creating adapter I'm going to add oh, inside this one activity underscore main inside this one for now we have only one text view but I'm going to add a tab layout and I'm going to add a view pager inside this okay so I'm going to remove this text view and I'm going to change the layout first so I'm going to just change this one to linear layout and I'm going to change the orientation to vertical After this, I'm going to add the tab layout. So I'm going to add a tab layout. This one. After this, I'm going to set the width to match parent and height to 58 dp. After this, we have to set the background. So I'm going to set the background to background color primary. Color slash color primary. And you can see this. Now we have this over here on the top. After this, I'm going to set the elevation for this one. So elevation will be 12 dp. I'm going to set the tab indicator. Tab indicator. This will be the white. Whatever the text inside that one will be of white color. Tab selected text color. You can change the text color, tab selected text color to some other color. But for now, I'm going to select this one to white. Okay. After this, I'm going to set the tab max width. I'm going to set this one 0 dp. And I'm going to set, set the tab gravity to fill. After this, I'm going to set this tab mode to fixed and tab text color to color underscore color slash white. And finally, I'm going to set the ID for this one. The ID will be tab layout and finally close this. Now we have added this tab successfully. After this, we have to add a view pager into this one. So I'm going to add a view pager. So type view pager and I'm going to use this one. Never use this view pager too. I'm going to use this one for now. So width and height both will be match parent and match parent. And I'm going to set the ID for this one. So ID will be view pager. Just close this. Okay, so now we have set the tab layout. 
on the top and we have set all the colors whenever at the different mode when this one is selected and this is tab indicator that I've selected text color everything we have set and we have also added the view page inside this one now we have to create one adapter into this one so right click on this click on this and select java class and i'm going to name this one fragment adapter hit enter this will create a class after this we have to extend this one from fragment pager adapter this one and it will show an error so just click on this implement method and just click ok just remove this one okay after this we have to create a constructor for this one so just click on this create super constructor and select the first one and click on ok we only need this one if this much part is visible in your system then just remove it and i'm going to remove it from here also and here we go so now the stuff is ready first thing inside this one that is get item from here i'm going to add a switch case where i'm going to return the different fragments for the different cases so i'm going to just delete this return this one and make some space it will show an error but once the switch case is done it will be fixed automatically so this switch will be on the position basis of this position inside this get item we already have a variable that is end position okay on the basis of that we are going to use this switch case so first is case zero that is if selected index is zero then we are going to return new chats fragment and for case one we are going to return new status fragment and for case three, sorry, case two, we are going to return new calls fragment like this one. And in the default, I'm going to return new chats fragment. So now we are returning whenever we have select zeroth in the let me just open this one in activity and here you can see this in the tab layout whenever the index selected is zero then it will be the first is chats and on this one the, we have status and on two we have calls so whenever we select according to the index values we are going to return the different fragments over there okay so we are going to get this one that is get count so i'm going to hard code this one because we have only three fragments so i'm going to return this three after this we have to override one method that is get page your title this one and when you click on select that how to do this i'm going to show you once again just make some space and you have to simply write get page title and select this first one just double click on this this will generate a method that is get sorry override a method that is get page title like this one just remove this after this make some space over here i'm going to take one variable of a string type and i'm going to name this one title initially it will be null so if position is equal is equal to zero then the title will be status so title is equal to sorry that is chats right because first one is chat and the second one is you can see this let me just open the complete app so that i can show you so if i open the whatsapp and here you can see that this one first one is chat second one is status and calls so according to index this initial index is zero this is one this is two so for the zero i have set the chats for if position so okay so i'm going to copy this much part and i'm going to paste it twice and I'm going to change this chats and I'm going to index value to one and this chats to status. And finally, this is two. So I'm going to change this one to calls. And finally, I'm going to return not this one. I'm going to return this title like this one. Now the task for this one, that is the fragment adapter is done next thing we have to move into this one that is the main activity 
inside this one we have already used this variable this activity main binding and we have created the binding variable and we have set the binding and the task for this one is done after this we have to simply set the view pager so binding dot view pager dot set adapter and inside this one i'm going to set new fragment adapter and i'm going to pass get support fragment manager after this we have to set the binding dot tab layout dot set up with view pager and i'm going to pass this winding dot view pager now our task is done now i'm going to start the application let me just close these two and i'm going to start this and move back into this one griddle build is running It will take few seconds now installation is in progress now launching activity and sign in and here you can see this we have chats status and calls we have different fragments but in all of these hello blank fragment is visible so i'm going to change the text over here so that we can see the difference so i'm going to move back to this calls split this and i'm going to change the text to for this one this is calls fragment so calls fragment I'm going to set the gravity to center. After this, I'm going to increase the font size, text size to 35 SP, text color to color black, and text style to bold, like this one. Now I'm going to put these all in remaining stuff. In these chats, so I'm going to just split this and I'm going to add this much part. I'm going to change this one to chats so that we can see the difference and move to this one. Make some space, paste it. I'm going to change this one to this is status. Just restart the application and let's check. So here, this is chats fragment. When I click on a status, this is status fragment. When I click on this calls, this is calls fragment. So everything is working. We have successfully added the view pager and we have added the tab layout into this one. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, subscribe and share with your friends. And next